how to turn RTX on in Roblox. Now, this is working with any computer, any device. This tutorial will even work on AMD graphics cards. So make sure to watch to the very end of this video if you want to know how to turn on shaders. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before we get into this video, let me ask, does anyone want free Robux? If your answer is yes, you can get Robux right now. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your Roblox username 10 times. Last of all, join my group, which is linked in the description. First is to go to this website, which is linked down below. Once you download it, you have to follow a few steps, so keep watching this video. Because in-game, once you download this, it will be very laggy, and I'll show you how to turn off the lag once your computer starts lagging with these shaders. So first, we have to click download right here, and it'll show up this option right here, which it says either get lagged light mode or pro mode what you guys want to do is you have to click light mode right here and this will still give you the full rtx performance with the roblox shaders on so click download right here and then you want to click ignore after reading free offer try roshade pro we're not going to be getting roshade pro but you guys can get roshade pro it's three dollars a month but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking ignore and then we're going to be clicking agree once we click agree this will show up and you may have to turn off your ad blocker once this shows up you want to click skip and once you click skip it will show up with the download page now as you can see it says row shade setup 320.exe and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking download right here then what you want to do is you want to click keep there we go we have the row shade setup now what we're going to be doing is clicking row shade setup then we're going to be clicking run right here it says row shade and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking install so let's click install right here now it says keybinds select your preferred settings for row shade and basically you guys can turn on whatever keybinds you want you guys can either put on end or f8 and basically once you click f8 on your keyboard row shade will show up or you guys can select end and when you click end on your keyboard row shade will show up so that's how it works i'm going to be changing it to f8 and f7 in this video but you guys can do either home or end it's all up to you click next right here then click next right here and there we go as you can see row shade is downloading into roblox so let's wait until row shade installs and basically it may freeze like this and don't worry don't click close the program just wait for it to respond and there we go it responded now we're going to be clicking next and there we go it says thanks for installing row shade you guys can support me by following me on roblox he has 65,000 followers i mean that's when you know you can actually grow from making cool programs like that the next step we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going into a roblox game this can be any roblox game because we have to set up row shade into roblox so i'm going to be clicking brookhaven right here and basically once you click brookhaven right here it's going to be very very laggy as you can see it is a bit laggy right here and it shows up with joining server I mean, look at that. It looks very, very beautiful. It actually works, and it just looks so cool. Look at how glossy the roads look. We can see the reflections and everything. This is so amazing, but it's kind of glitchy. As you can see right here, we can see the GUI. So the GUI kind of reflects. Once you click F7 on your keyboard, this little GUI will show up. Now, guys, change the settings to exactly like mine, because if you don't change the settings to exactly like mine, your Roblox shaders won't look very good and plus it will lag your game you're going to be changing this settings right here so this setting right here ssr what we're going to be doing is we're going to be scrolling up once we scroll up under vertical field of view under global what you guys want to do so these settings right here you want to change it to 20,000. basically once you change it to 20,000, it will not lag your roblox game it looks a bit glitchy right now but once you change it to 20,000, we're going to be changing this option to 1700 like that to one 700 now it looks very very weird right now as you can see like kind of pixelated it won't look this pixelated once we change up a few settings once we change up a few settings now you want to change this to 7000 there we go now it fixed it a little bit but we're going to be changing this option now to 1000 once you change it to 1000 your shaders will look exactly like this basically this is all normal it may look a little bit weird we're going to be changing the ray tracing to 3000 and there you go it looks a bit better but not exactly on point 
We're going to be changing this to zero. And there we go. It looks a lot better. Once we change that to zero, we're going to be changing this option to one. And there we go. It looks a bit better right here. Now let's do comp before and after. It's not exactly finished, but once we click F7, it looks a bit better. Like this is pretty much the difference right here. Now ray tracing is going to be 10,000 like this. And there we go. Then it's going to be 2,000 for ray tracing. And there it looks way better like this. Now this is actually another good option. It'll be a bit more laggier, but this is also a good option. If any of these settings lag for you, make sure to mess around with them because I promise once you mess around with these settings, the less laggy it will become. Okay, guys. So make sure to mess around with the settings. Next step, go to filtering and details and put in 2000 and then put zero right here just like this and then 1000 like this and there you go and filtering and details these are the settings copy these exact settings right here and basically once you copy these exact settings your roblox game will look so amazing like as you can see right here maybe i did it a bit overdrive with the reflections because as you can see the reflections are kind of bugging out we're not gonna lie not gonna lie but it still looks very very good another option that I want to mess around with is actually the reflection settings because the reflection looks kind of odd. Okay, guys, it looks kind of odd. So whenever you get like an error like this, whenever your Roblox kind of looks weird like this, you can always change your settings by clicking F7 and then you guys can actually change the blending mode down or whatever. You can change the ambient. Turn down the ambient range because this ambient range actually makes Roblox look 10 times weirder. If you change it to zero, it'll look like that. If you change it to to two it'll look like that if you change it to one it'll look like this if you change it to 0 0.500 the more you, lower you go the less it will reflect and the less it will look weird so basically that's a little hack right there but i'm going to be keeping it at 10,000 only because i like how it looks and basically changing it to zero will make it just like this the more you go the weirder it'll look the less you go the less reflection it will look so basically the more reflections just depends on what you're computer is like and as you can see look at my roblox character right there and my gui it's like it's reflecting very very weirdly